Hey everyone, what's going on? Brett here with Simple Preparedness. Uh, today I thought I'd drop in real quick, do a quick unboxing, some first impressions. Uh, got a new bag. I'm gonna start out the new year with a new bag. Uh, as y'all know, I've been carrying that 511 push pack and I just outgrew it. Not gonna work. I thought about switching over to my 511 Rush 24, too big. I just, I didn't want to go that big with that. I have other plans for that one right now. I had initially thought about picking up a 511 Amp 12, and I got to thinking about it, and you know, I started this channel to try to find some good budget gear for people. If I went with the, the Amp 12, you're looking at like 124 bucks for that. On top of that, you gotta get the gear sets for it. You figure probably two gear sets, you're looking at 50, 60 bucks right there for getting into a $200 bag right there. That's not what I was trying to do with this channel. So I went with something that a lot of you have probably seen before. It's a little older, it's been around for a while, but from my understanding, it holds up really well. It's a size I was kind of looking for. It's a little bit bigger than I thought, but I think I can make it work. And I want to show you what we got here. So I pre-cut the box. Y'all haven't got to sit here and watch all this crazy stuff. Uh, I went, with the SOG, the Ninja Day Pack. Pretty good size. And from what I've seen, it really kind of looks like the 511 uh, Rush 12, with one exception. And that is, it has a bottle holder on it. That's funny, right off the bat. So right off the bat, I see a small problem with this bag. <laughs> Not a big thing, it's an aesthetic thing. The little Velcro skull that they put on here, is upside down. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, it is what it is. It's gonna be covered up anyway. I picked this up on Amazon. They had a sale going on. I think this was like 28 bucks. You're not gonna beat that. That's that's a pretty good deal for this bag, even if part of it's upside down. <laughs> it happens, man. I'm not gonna cry about it. But uh right off the bat. It seems like a sturdy bag. I mean, we've all, you've all probably seen the videos. It does have some nice pads on it. Uh, sling packs, I think I'm gonna go back to just regular backpack. I like the yoke on this. It does have chest strap that you can move up and down on it. The big thing I liked about this was that even though it does kind of resemble the Rush 12, it does have a bag on the side, a pouch on the side to put a water bottle. And it doesn't seem like it's gonna interfere with the inside of the bag, which is a good thing. Uh, just really quick, I haven't had one of these before but it does seem really nice. The material seems good quality. It does have some big old pull tabs on it. If you're cold, wearing gloves, whatever. A 
nice amount of room on the inside. There is a spot here where you can put a water bladder, clip it in. The downside is it doesn't look like they put any way for your hose to come out. Nope, sure didn't. There's no way for your hose to come out even though they put that in there. Well, that's not a good thing. I figured there would be a way to feed it up. Apparently there isn't. Oh, well, get what you pay for, yeah? But still, it's a nice size bag. To me, that's really not gonna be a deal breaker. I really hadn't planned on putting a water bladder in here anyway. Still, it would have been a nice... Oh, okay, I'm wrong. There it is. That's where your hose goes out for your water bladder. First impressions video. I've never had one of these before. I'm used to the feeds being on the sides. This one's at the back. So there we go, it does have it. Uh, you got a couple pouches in here. They are like a see-through mesh. Got a smaller one on the top. Yeah, probably about the same size down here on the bottom. It doesn't completely clamshell open. The zipper stops at the top of where your water bottle would go, but it does go all the way down on the other side. So it does open up pretty wide. So that is nice. Uh, on the top, it does have spot for glasses, felt line, so your stuff doesn't get scratched up. I know you guys have probably seen this like a hundred times, but for some of the newer folks out there, I just thought I'd do a quick first look at it. It does have compression straps on either side. Uh, we already looked at this one. This is a smaller pouch at the top which isn't too bad. It got a little bit of room in there. You do have an admin pouch on the front, which as you can see, I haven't messed with it. You get the zippers kind of in that weird way, half open, half closed. That's not a bad little mesh pouch in there. Put some stuff. It does go down a ways past the fold, which is pretty good. You got some areas here, pens, pencils, and they keep going larger as they get up. You got a little key holder or whatever you want on it. It is covered in molly. There's quite a bit on the one side there. Of course you saw there's quite a bit on the front, a little bit on the side where your water bottle would go. There's a little bit on the straps. The padding seems pretty nice. Not too bad at all. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna run with this. Of course, down at the bottom, you got the, the SOG. I still think that's funny that old boy's upside down on there. That's just too funny. Um, 
you do have Velcro too down the front pouch, it's not in like a square. It, I don't know if this is a newer version or something, but you got a strip here, a strip here, a strip here, a strip here. So you got four different strips running down it. Okay, I'll come out in a second, okay? Okay. <laughs> My little one coming in the jack. But, uh, all in all, it does have the little straps on the bottom, same as 511, so you can hook a bed roll. Huge, 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 huge deals on the bottom in case something breaks open and can spill out. Nice drain holes. Those, those suckers are huge. That's probably the biggest ones I have ever seen. Those are huge. But uh, we're gonna run with this for a little bit. I'm gonna take some time, set it up. It is a pretty good size. Of course, I never wear them as a backpack. I just sling one shoulder. You would think I'd like sling bags. In some ways I do, but I think I like the option of having the backpack available to me if I need it. Seems like a nice bag. Except for the upside down guy. <laughs> That's gonna kill me. But uh, all in all guys, uh, that's what we're going to run into the new year with. Like I said, I'm not going crazy expensive right now. Just This channel was set up to try to find good quality budget gear for people that are just starting out or whatever. I mean, if you can afford two or three hundred dollars for a bag every other week for reviews, man, more power to you. Not me. So we're gonna run with the SOG Ninja Day Pack for a little while. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try setting everything up when I get it all set up. I'll show you what's going on with it, uh, how I got it set up, what I got going on, what I'm running in it. So there we have it. Also, coming up here shortly after this video sometime, I did complete the trauma pack that I was working on. So I'll be doing a, I don't know, kind of a review on that, showing you what I actually put in to that trauma pack. Um, more than likely, it's gonna go right on this bag here since I got it set up. There is one piece in the trauma pack. Eh, kind of wondering about. I may upgrade that later on, but it got kind of expensive. So that's one piece I may upgrade later. Like I said, I'm here to try to find budget stuff. A trauma pack, the way I see it, it's something that could save somebody's life and they are in a really bad shape. I wanted to get really good stuff for it. I didn't want to go too crazy, but we'll get into all that in another video. But anyway, there we have it. The uh, SOG Ninja Day Pack. That's what we're gonna run into the new year with. So I'm gonna get it set up, do some things for it. I have some ideas on it, but uh, there it is. I'm sure you've seen it in videos. It's been around for quite a while, but Apparently it's still around because it's a good bag. So we're gonna run with that. We're gonna see how that works. All right, guys, uh, that being said, I guess y'all be safe, be prepared. We'll holler at you later, guys. Bye.